So here's my test engine stand that I've built and used to work on some of my different uh, experiments I always do. I've got a uh, couple of things you might not recognize on here. I've got dual oil pressure gauges where I observe the oil pressure before and after the filter. Um, I was doing some testing on the oil pressure spring, bypass springs, and some of those different bypass valves. Uh, fuel pressure gauge, 0 to 15 gauge. Um, I pretty much leave it on the engine all the time so I can play with my fuel pump pressures. Um, voltage regulator mounted on side of the alternator. That's just convenient. I built a little panel on the front with a start, stop, run switch on it. A battery voltage, uh, alternator light, a few things like that. Down below, set the battery on the floor, and I've got a small fuel tank that holds about a liter. Uh, that gives me about 20 minutes of idle time or more, depending on what I'm doing under load. And a couple of flex pipes help take the exhaust out into the driveway, and then I just set some mufflers at the end of it, quiet things down for the neighbors. So on the adjustable fuel pump, you'll see that I'm putting a hex gauge into the top of the fuel pump and starting to adjust the pressure up. Um, the length of this is a bit much because it's a very fine adjustment, but you'll eventually see that I start at about 2, S 2 PSI and I think it goes up to about 4 or 5 on this video. Um, normal range is about 2 to 6 PSI. Um, I've been driving around town most of the summer with my fuel pressure set at 2 PSI on a 110 engine and have no problems with that. Ideally between 3 to 4 is fine. It's not that critical. Uh, but it's nice to have a way to adjust, especially if the pump came from the factory or came from the rebuilder with the setting too high. The fuel pressure is much more critical on the turbo engines than it is on the normal HV and HV carburetors. Now I'll start turning it back down and if uh, if you can see it in the video you'll notice that the screw turns counterclockwise to increase the pressure and clockwise to decrease the pressure. That's about the only oddity of this setup is that that's the reverse of what you would expect. But I didn't want to put in left-handed screws and left-handed threads uh, to make this deal work out. That's pretty much the deal on it. Um, if you got any questions about it, be glad to answer them.